Hi everyone, welcome to another free family art project with myself. I'm Autumn, the education coordinator for Studio 23. Uh, today we're going to do another drawing project because I've gotten a lot of great feedback from everyone and um, the kids are really loving the drawing projects. So today I'm going to show you how to draw a tree sloth. Uh, all we're going to need for this project is some paper and crayons. If you don't have crayons, anything else will do. Pen, pencil, colored pencil, markers, whatever you do have. So let's get started. To start our drawing, we're going to uh, have our paper landscape, not portrait, landscape. All right. So like in some of the other drawing videos that I've showed you in the past, we're going to fold our paper so we have an idea exactly of where we're drawing. So I'm going to fold it right in half, width-wise, and then I'm going to open it back up and I'm going to fold it right in half, lengthwise, Just like that, okay? And if you do it right, you should have a nice big plus sign in the middle of your paper. If you don't want to have the fold lines in your paper like I've showed you before, go ahead and just make a very, very light plus sign in your paper with your crayons or whatever you're using. Um, either way will work. All right, so to get started with our tree sloth, we have to make a really large vine going across these top two quadrants. So we have something for our sloth to hang on. Um, I think to draw this out, I'm just gonna use my black crayon and I'm, like I said, I'm going to start with the vine. So up on top here, I'm going to do uh, two really big, long, I guess you could say curved lines or almost like smiley faces, right? So I'm going to start right up here in this top quadrant. And I'm going to do one big line. And right under it, I'm, it's probably going to be about two finger widths or so. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to do one more curved line. And I'm gonna try and follow that shape as much as I can so I have a vine or a branch or whatever you want it to be for our uh, sloth to hang on. All right, so next we're going to do the, I think we're gonna do the head next of the sloth. So we're gonna go right over here to this bottom. It would be your, what bottom? Left quadrant. And we're gonna draw the head. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna go in and we're just gonna go maybe to the middle top part of that quadrant and we're gonna draw an oval shape, okay? Just like that. So there's the head for our sloth, okay? Now we're gonna draw a body for our sloth and what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw from our oval we're gonna draw a straight line out to maybe about, I'll say maybe about halfway to the other quadrant, and then we're gonna wrap it around in a curve shape. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about, okay? So we're gonna go in, it's a straight line, but now here I'm gonna start bending it down and curving it around so I can make the shape of his body. Just like that. All right, so we have a vine or a tree branch, whatever you want it to be. We have our sloth head and we have our sloth body so far. So I think we're in good shape. All right, next we need an arm and a leg. And those are just gonna be big old curved lines. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. We're gonna go down into the same quadrant of our paper where we have um, our head and part of our body, okay? And we're just going to make a big curved line from, mm, I'll say about halfway, in between the body. And we want our curved line to go all the way to the top part of the branch. That's important. So it's going to go up and come back down, okay? And just like this. Up, reach that branch, back down, okay? We have our first sloth arm. Now we're gonna do a sloth leg. We're gonna do it very much the same. We wanna make sure it comes up to 
that top part of the branch, but we want to do it in this other quadrant over here because we want it to be a leg, okay? So we're going to do it the same way. We're going to go up and curve it right back down, okay? So I'm going to go to the back end of my sloth and make a line up to that top line, curve it, and I want it to come back down. So I have a arm and a leg for my sloth, okay? Now we need some, we need an arm and a leg for the back, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and draw some little lines next to the, like a line right next to our arm. So it'll give the idea that there's an arm in the background, okay? And that's just gonna be a line from the body up to that bottom branch, just really easy, just like that. Same thing with the leg. We're gonna do a line from the body to that bottom branch. Just so it implies that there is an arm and a leg back there. And it makes our sloth look just a little more realistic. All right, so next we're gonna do um, our sloth hands or our sloth claws, right? That wrap around the branch. So for that, we're just gonna do curved lines going from the top part of the branch to the bottom. And we're gonna do it right next to the arm, okay? So we're gonna do one, two, three. I think we'll do one more. Just like that, all right? Let's do the same thing for his foot. One, two, three. Four. And you can round off the top if you want to make it look like it's actually wrapped around. You could even do the same thing with the bottom. All that's going to do is make it look a little bit more realistic, okay? So there's what we have so far, all right? All right, let's see. Uh, let's move on to, um, we'll give our sloth a face next, okay? So inside our head, we're going to draw another circle right inside that's going to be our sloth face. So right inside that circle, we're going to make another circle so we can give our sloth a face. All right, now that we have that, let's see, let's move on to, well, maybe we'll give them a little hair first. So. I'm just doing some ziglet, zag lines right up top here to give the idea of hair. You could do the same thing up here if you wanted to, to kind of give the idea of hair. Just give them a little personality, right? That's what we're doing. We're, we're giving them our sloth a little personality. All right, so we'll give our sloth a face next. And I think what we're gonna make sure is our sloth has a big nose, because I think that's a kind of a defining characteristic for a sloth. So we're gonna go right in the middle of the face and we're gonna draw a big old oval. Just like that. And that's gonna be his nose, okay? Then directly under that, we're gonna give him a little smiley face. Because I think sometimes they look like they're smiling. So a nice big old smile. He's gonna be a friendly sloth. Okay? Our sloth has a little smile. And now we're gonna give him some eyes. So right above our nose, we're gonna do a couple more little ovals. But then we're gonna add the lines that sloths have on the side of their eyes and their face. So we're just gonna draw a line up and around from the side of the face. Up and around from the side of the face. Almost like he's wearing a little mask. All right, there's our sloth face so far. I think it's looking pretty good. And I think to draw it out, I think the only other thing we really might need is some leaves and random branches from our big branch here. So I think um, if you've watched me in the past do that, you know that you're just doing for the branches itself, you're doing some <clears throat> smiley face lines, right? To make your branches. So there's one, we can do one here. All right, let's see. We'll do we'll do one maybe one more over here. We're just doing two smiley face lines for our branches. And I'll tell you what, we'll do one more here. All right. Got our 
our sloth, we've got our tree, we've got our branches. I think if we just have leaves on our little branches, I think we'll be good. And the leaves, if you've watched other videos, you know are very, very simple. They're simply a smiley face and a frown face together to make that leaf shape, okay? So a smiley face, a frown shape, we have a simple leaf. And let's see, we'll do one here. Smiley face, frown face, smile, frown, smile, frown. Here we go. All right, I think our sloth is looking good. So we'll go ahead and color it in really quickly. Um, if you wanted to stop at this point and maybe get out even some watercolor paint, I think this would be a fantastic watercolor painting. Otherwise, you can continue on with your markers or your crayons or whatever you're using. So to color our sloth, I think we're just gonna do basic colors, nothing crazy. So I think I'm gonna color him in really quickly with a brown. Let's see, here it is. Okay, so we're just gonna color his body in with the brown. All right, and you can see I'm coloring, I'm coloring fast, but I'm coloring hard enough where you can kind of cover up some of those black lines that we made earlier. Um, if you're really concerned about the lines, you can go over them again, or you could have, you, you can even in the future draw it out with the color you're going to make the body. I don't think it makes that big of a difference, so let's see. in. And of course I'm coloring fast so I don't take up so much time on the video. I'm sure you'll do a much better job and you will color in the lines. I'm sure of it. All right, let's see. We got the body, let's get the fur around his face colored in. We can't forget his little crazy fur up top. All right, we got that. Let's see, we got him colored in. I think the little mask area that's by the eyes, I think we should color that in too, but maybe we'll color that in uh, maybe gray. Maybe we'll color it in gray. I don't want it to be the exact same color as the rest of his fur. So color that in. Gray. And then I'm going to color in his eyes and his nose black, I think. So we can see them really well. All right. Got that. I think we'll color in his little claws gray also, so they're just a different color than the rest of him. And they stand out. Get those colored in. All right, I, so I think our sloth is looking pretty good. I think we could even, maybe even choose a different color to color in the body. Let's see. Well, I don't have a different brown, so I guess I'll use the same. Maybe I'll use some brown and gray together. If you color light enough with crayons, you'll find that you can blend them a little bit, even just regular old crayons. So I'm gonna color really lightly on this tree branch with some brown, and then I'm gonna go over it with gray just so it doesn't blend in too much with the body of our sloth. There's that. And see how that's starting to make a different kind of brown? That's exactly what we want. So keep that in mind when you have crayons because you know a lot of times we'll have like limited colors in crayons. Like I think mine's only a 24 pack so I don't have like the big 100, 130 pack or anything. But if you're coloring light enough with crayons you can still blend them and you can still get a lot of different colors so that's a good tip to keep in mind when you're using your crayons. All right, so we got our tree colored in. I think color in some leaves and I think we're good to go. I'm just gonna color them basic green color. 
You could definitely do greens, yellows, dark greens, even throw some blues in there if you wanted to get fancy with it. All right, and then I think I'll make my background blue because I want it to look like he's way up in the air. And I'm just gonna color this really quickly. You could definitely make it darker if you wanted to make it a night scene. You could even make it like a, a very dark blue or mix your blue and your black and make it like a navy blue. You could do a lot of fun things with this. And almost done. Good enough. So that was a really quick little demo. How to draw a sloth. He's so cute, isn't he? I love him. I think he's super adorable. So if you decide to give this a try, which why wouldn't you? Look how easy it was and how fast it went. Uh, make sure and tag us. Hashtag Studio 23 on the go and hashtag Make Art Virtual. We'd we would love to see, we would love to share what you guys are working on. Otherwise, I hope you have a fun and creative day. It's rainy out, so you might as well, right? Stay inside and do something creative. Otherwise, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and we will.